Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see the story editor in InDesign. Summing up, we could say that this story editor is a kind of tool that allows you to edit text in a simplified plain text environment separate from your page layout. This feature you have to understand is especially useful when working with complex layouts or when precise text editing is needed without layout distractions. Let's see then how it works. On the screen, we have a document about the front matter of a book. It is a Spanish book I am working on currently. And if we focus on the left page, we can see the copyright page. Then first thing we have to do is to select the text box and move to edit, edit in a story editor. Shortcut, control plus Y or command plus Y in Mac. Once we hit it, we can see this window. Firstly, I recommend you to go to the lower right corner and expand it, expand this window, because this way we will be able to close it later. Furthermore, we can move it easily. Let's do it. And then thanks to this window, we'll be able to modify our text in a very easy and fast way. We'll be able to edit our text without distractions. All the text is here. We just have to scroll down and edit it. Let's do it, for example, with this magenta text. It is in this color because still I am not sure about this number. In case I want to change it using my story editor, I just have to go to this word. So I scroll down a little bit more. Then I select this date, 2024, and I write 2025. In this very moment, the change is applied on my original document in InDesign. And if I want that change permanently, then we just have to close this window using this icon, the close icon. It won't pop up a confirmation question about the changes, but it is already done. More things. Let's go to this another part of the front map. This text about the author. The author is Manuel Chavez Nogales, a Spanish journalist who makes the fast-paced chronicle of the Spanish Civil War in this book. This time the text takes two pages. So first of all, we have to select it. V key in our keyboard, one click on the text box, and then Ctrl or Command Y. The story editor pops up, lower right corner, we expand the window, and then we can move it easy. Then I will scroll up in order to go to the beginning of the text. And from here, we can edit all the text in a very easy, easy way, right? Take in mind that italic words are still there. So our typography, our font is always the same, but still the format respects italic words. On the left side, this column is talking about the paragraph styles. So when we read here texto principal, it means this is the name of this paragraph style. We can change it from here as well. This is something very interesting. We can change either the paragraph styles or the character styles. For example, I select this part of the text or I just click inside this paragraph. Then I'll go over paragraph styles and I click this another style. Then we can check how our paragraph style title changed into capítulos grandes. And in our original document, the size is different, but in our story editor, still the font is the same. What did happen is that due to the new size of the font, we are occupying more space and then we have hidden text. This hidden text in our story editor is represented by this vertical red line. If I move my window to the right, we can see it here. And if we want to undo this last change, we can use Ctrl Z. Last example, I scroll down in my document and then I realize that here I have hidden text. Thanks to my story editor, it will be so easy to measure the amount of hidden text I have here. I select my text box, Control command y I scroll down, and when I see the red line, I know it is hidden text. And of course, I can expand this window and measure the amount of text I have already hidden. Well, I hope this tool is going to be useful for you in the future. Time to say goodbye, and I hope to see you in the next episode.